Good morning, middle school. I'm Maggie Goodner. I'm Lila Don Piles. And I'm Parker McCain. Welcome to this week's middle school broadcast. Mr. Patrick Sneed is in his first year at Stratford's head of middle school. Eighth grade Gazee Babies, Gray Kovacs, and Carsey Sims sat down with Mr. Sneed in the journalism studio to get some of his thoughts on the school year and plans for the rest of the semester. I'm Gray Kovacs and today I'm with Mr. Sneed. Morning Gray, I'm happy to be here. So what improvements would you like to make for the rest of the semester? Well, you know, it's funny, there are a lot of things just being my first year that I'm looking at in terms of um, what's already done and, you know, here at Stratford and, and what, what I'd like to see added. Um, you know, one of the things that we're working on right now are trips for the 7th and 8th grade and trying to get those finalized um, for later in the spring. Uh, one of the things that I'd really like to see us do is develop more opportunities for students to become leaders mm -hmm. uh, and get involved in the decision-making process of kind of what happens or what activities that we do um, on campus. And then uh, personally, and I know I've mentioned this to some people before, I'd love to see us get um, some stuff on campus to make break, maybe more fun or more active, whether that's like a gaga ball pit or nine square in the air, or just painting lines for four square, but just ways for people to be uh, active and burn up some energy while we have our free time in the mornings. Hi, I'm Carsey Sims. I'm in the eighth grade and my question is, what are your expectations for our students for the rest of the semester? Uh, you know, it's a great question, Carsey, and the one thing I would say is expectations never really change. Um, you know, when I, when I first introduced myself to, to you guys, the students, in, in the fall, um, you know, I said I have three simple rules. Um, and, and those are things that, that I think are non-negotiable. I'd love for people to um, do the best that they can with the time that they've got permitted. Um, I believe that there's never a wrong time to do the right thing. And finally, to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Um, I think the biggest thing that I'd love for people to do, just quite simply, is to be nice to each other. Um, there's no excuse for not being kind, and I think um, if we treat each other the right way, then good things happen. Seniors Mike Dodd and William Stevens both won state wrestling titles on Saturday, January 13th. Alejandro Villegas talked to Mike and William about their big accomplishments. Here is a report. Hi, I'm Alejandro Vegas. I'm here with William Stevens and Mike Dodd. William, you went 6-1 and one with your only loss coming in the fourth overtime. And Mike, you went 11-0 in middle school and 4-1 and one in varsity. Uh, between you two, you guys only gave up one takedown the whole year. That's really impressive. How do you guys feel about that? You know, it was mostly just like, don't let them pin you. Kind of like, keep fighting and don't lose, kind of. Got it. Um, I usually wait for them to attack and then defend. Alright. Alright guys, well I know you guys have been putting in a lot of hard work this season and um, how does it feel? Was it really, was it worth it at the end to win the state after putting in all that dedication? Well, it really was because I honestly went in there with not really high expectations. I didn't think I was going to win and I came out a champion so the hard work really did pay off. Um, for me, I just went in there without like thinking about much and tried to have as much fun as possible but I ended up winning, so that was pretty fun. Well, great. Well, congrats to you two. Sixth graders attended a champs meeting on Friday, January 12th. Siler Halt and Bitsy Geary have a report. I want you guys to know that law enforcement officers, police officers, first responders, we are normal people. We are just like you are. We're just like your parents. And when you see me or when you see any of us in you know, while you're out. I don't want you to be afraid. On the afternoon of Friday, January the 12th, the sixth graders had their first CHAMPS meeting in the Cantrell Lower School Cafeteria. CHAMPS stands for Choosing Healthy Activities and Methods Promoting Safety. CHAMPS was led by local police officer Wooten, mother of Stratford student Bobby Wooten. After giving a short introduction, Officer Wooten told the class about the dangers of drugs. Everyone learned about what is and what is not a drug and how to use them safely. CHAMPS is here to teach us important lessons on how to stay safe in every situation. Reporting for the Gazee Babies, Siler Hall and Betsy Geary. A few of the stories we are working on for our next 
broadcast are the Quiz Bowl, participating in the state competition, the King Tut Project, and Miss Griffin's classes, and a look at the at a few middle school students who love to spend their free time playing the video game Fortnite. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful week, middle school.